Okay, Bravo take note, can start unlocking hero image. Was apprehended for drug trafficking. I was petrified. Uh. I don't know how to tell my parents that he charged was death penalty. We went to a third test of trial. Uh, he told me that Skanda, now they decide to give you an offer: 24 years for trafficking and one year for possession. Uh. So from the high court, they sent me to maximum security. Uh. Today I left with 50 days to go until my release date on the 21st January. I've collected all these items so that I can reward myself every single night for my countdown. He is a very good inmate, but doesn't mean all the good inmates are good citizens. We have a lot of experience where the inmates obey, but after two months, they come back. They fail to become a good citizen. On three different occasions, I was carrying three different types of weapons. Actually, the first weapon uh, I got was a samurai sword. Uh. I planned to go down to this place to meet this guy. I just want to like slash him, then I walk off uh, to actually teach him a lesson. She afraid that I might not change. So if God really, if I can't change, then she will definitely leave me, uh, she said. So it's like so-called my last chance. Uh. Hello, how are you doing out there? Everything been fine for you? How is our daughter? What school did she get into? Does she miss me? Are you still very angry on me? Still very hate me? I want to apologize for my past words and action which have hurt you. I want to seek uh, forgiveness from uh, a lot of people. Lah. One of them is, I hope, forgiveness from my uh, ex-wife. And I hope to be given a chance to take care of my daughter. OK, uh, so a little bravo. OK, and start unlocking the room yet. Hey, guys, stand by, guys. He wants ready, come fall in. Right now, the time is uh, two o'clock. Okay, your yard is two hours. Okay, come, carry on. Two hours, I want to put some requests. You want to put what? Yeah, uh, some requests. Uh, I want to put. Uh... So, for inmates, most of the times, the only contact person is the officer. Lah. So they have any requests or anything, any issue, they always look for their personal supervisor, which is the officer, like myself. I want to request for accommodation. Oh. After release, then I want to find a way to stay. OK, OK, Ken. I left about eight months in my sentence. Uh, one biggest worry is my accommodation. So when I release from here, I definitely don't have a roof. Just to check, how about your family? Yeah? Uh, where does your family stay and everything? Because uh, I very long, I uh, never go back home already. So, yeah, my only support last time is my mama. Mm. So, but then she passed away already. Uh. So, uh, I cannot actually uh, go back to home. Uh. Oh, your siblings? Uh, any of your siblings? Uh, we are not very close contact. So, you have no contact with them? Uh, no, no. You will be staying alone? Uh? Uh, with my girlfriend. Because I have a fiancé waiting for me outside. Okay. So, my first only step is to actually stable myself first. Then, that is where I will uh, explore the other's plannings. Uh. They will arrange an interview with you. Then, you explain everything to the social worker. Okay. 
when outside, uh, I don't have accommodation, so uh, I don't have enough rest. I cannot really concentrate on my work. So without work, uh, definitely my money also facing issue. So that is where all my negative and crime mindset uh, come in. So that is why I repeated my offence and coming back here. All right, gentlemen, today is your reward redemption day. We're watching a movie. Good job on accumulating enough points for the movie session. Keep up the good work and your good conduct. Any questions for me? Yes, All right. Gentlemen, thank you, sir. If they are well behaved from the whole week, we will give them a point. On the Friday, they can choose what rewards they want. This one is considered our lucky day. So usually it's about three to four months once. Uh. Although inside here we watch the movies all, it's like very, very bad little one. Uh. To see movies is like something very precious to us. Uh. Nicer than watch in the cinema. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe this. When we lost something, then we appreciate something. Now we're having movies, uh, so it's uh, related to our programs. Uh, heroes, like how we manage our emotions and uh, our family's violence, violence, all that. Uh. The Violence Intervention Program, or HERO in short, is actually meant for inmates with violence antecedents. So they will actually undergo this program with counsellors to help them understand their offences better, train their cognitive abilities. Right, hello, Kai, Grayson, afternoon. Oh, you all just had a haircut. Ah. I'm Rashida. I'm a psychologist with the Singapore Prison Service. What we do as psychologists is to do assessments, and this would help to address triggers that would lead to violent behaviour or aggression. Okay, notice the outline of your hands, the fingers, and then the spaces between your fingers. If there are any thoughts going through your mind, acknowledge it. Would that be something that you would be doing next time? We are in the snow. <laughs> because it's too detailed. It too might, detailed? It might trigger other things. When it triggers, acknowledge it. And move. Your hand, I saw a little scar earlier. It might, that might have triggered something. Anything, any person, any place. We get triggered until to the point of rage. And what happened to our behaviour when we are very angry? If you come in action, exactly, exactly. Family can help them change. It can also be a trigger factor. For example, they may have issues with communication with each other, which may lead to family violence. Do you think nagging uh, is also a form of communication? Yes. Yes, you can yes. say yes. Uh. yes. Why, why, why do you say so? Uh, show that they care for you. Though. They care for so you. So that's why they neck. Uh. They bother to neck. Sometimes they neck too over already. Uh. <laughs> okay, what about it that makes it um, irritating? They keep I... saying it, then they repeat. They say it again, then repeat. Keep rewind also. So there is this thought. You should understand me. You're my family, right? And because at the same time, doesn't seem like that's happening. Like I got this issue, so I just normal talk to my friend. Then uh, my wife would think that why you can share your friend, why you cannot share with me. And why do you choose a friend instead of your wife? Like example, like I say, okay, after this sentence, uh, planning to like go and take some course for cooking or this. Then she would just answer me, uh, you want to go and learn? Uh? You cook, Maggie me also don't know, you want to go and learn? Uh? <laughs> then no need, uh, you must as well come home, I teach you. 
Come on, okay. easy this time. Let's get this a good example. Okay, pause there. Very good, very good. Okay, let's get help from the other guys. Huh? And she said, wow, you cannot even hook Maggie me. Well, what do you think her perspective, what she's thinking? What's behind that? So maybe uh, she wants to take this time to spend time with you because she share the but food. The problem is, she also don't know how not, not, not really how to cook. Not. <laughs> <laughs> do you have her before? Never. Never. I myself, I don't know how to cook. <laughs> so it's really about expectations. If you look at it, right, it's really uh, listening and reflect. Uh, what is my spouse or my family members, uh, for that matter, trying to tell me? Reflect what they might be feeling. Okay. At times, right, they may also feel awkward to be telling you something so directly. But what's important is you and your wife need to talk about it. Lah. <laughs> mm, I plan like after I get my new passport, then I move. <laughs> you cannot play drugs in Singapore. If I were to succeed in something, but without drugs, and I would take probably at a slower rate, how does that sit with you? Boring. It is certainly quite worrying if he's articulating those thoughts. Attention to all limits, fall in for mouse to check now. I repeat, fall in for mouse to check now. Master check is actually unique to prisons. So this is also done for prison school. Good afternoon, man. Good afternoon. I was sentenced, right? I reached the maximum institution. I calculate how much time I left in prison. So after cutting off the remission and the remands, I left with 10 years. Now, you know, there is a prison school. There is a NT level, NA level, O level and diploma. So I do the calculation. Ah. One year for NA, one year for O level and two years for diploma. Maybe after the diploma, I was going to pursue a study in a degree course. Ah. So along the way, the registration is open. Ah. So I submit the application form. I feel happy ah, that I'll be selected and fortunate. Because from what I know, there's a lot of applicants. Ah. So for this year, I move on to take my O level. Ah. So every year, they can actually apply for whatever um, levels they want to apply for. It may be N, O or even A. So after they have registered interest, we will actually clear them based on conduct or even uh, runway in prisons, how long more they have with us. So the interest loan is 1,006 divided by one quarter. So right now, it's 8.25. So usually this is the time that I do my revisions with my cellmates. Uh. 253. Uh. In prison, this is how you study. You have to sit on the floor. As my age catching up, I feel the pain. So, for each subject, right, you will receive a worksheet that is stick. No? We don't have TV, we don't have radio, we don't have computer, we don't go in social media, so we just spend our time on study. And that really make our time fly very fast. So, sometimes you will be shocked at people asking for more worksheet. So, after class, Usually, my teacher will tell us, okay, you need to do this topic, this topic, and to be handed up by the next lesson. If I don't do it every day, I can't catch up. For prison school, it means they're actually very busy. They actually have a much lesser free time here. Median sentence takes about three to five years. So if we actually um, let them study uh, compress our uh, syllabus, compressing um, from four years to one year, we actually allow more inmates to benefit from the education within prisons. So uh, I will study until 9.45. After that, I will pack up my things, I rinse myself, 
and go to sleep ah, because I have to wake up 4 a.m. next morning. My day start at 4:30 a.m. I take a bath, brush my teeth, right? I will do the prayers. Ah. 4.45, the staff will issue us the hot drinks for breakfast. So we're having our breakfast early in the morning. Because we have to be at class by 8 a.m. in the morning. When you go into class, you don't feel like you're inside prison. It's totally different. When we talk to each other, it's like, it's like a friend. The notes for today. Thank you. Right, guys. Uh, going back to the situation, I think pizza. Going back to the PAC. Ah, uh, what is PAC? Can somebody remind me what is PAC? I've been teaching here for almost two years. I teach English here, uh, mainly the O levels. So P is purpose. Was a little bit intimidated at the start. Many of them had rather rough-looking tattoos. A is audience. But once I stepped into the classroom, I realized that they were just like any ordinary students eager to learn and very concerned about how to do well for the exams. Uh, mainstream students will always have access to online resources or even expensive private tuition. But over here, they are quite uh, reliant on me to prepare them for the exams and to provide career guidance. Who did number three? It's Kanda. Yes, Kanda. Say, I, I talk about my the skills I have. Uh. Yes, of course. I'm a consciousness and meticulous person. When it comes to details, it will be helpful for the event planning for the children, uh, such as the sport day. That's the skill I have. Oh, you are a what? A meticulous person? Conscientious uh, uh, and meticulous person. Conscientious. Conscientious and meticulous person when it comes to detail. I wonder where you get those words from. <laughs> from you. Uh. <laughs> Iskanda is a very lively and rather humorous student. I mean, beyond that, because he's so eager to learn, he's actually very hardworking. Question so far? Sir, sir. Hmm. I mean, for the, for the two, right? I just put head of citizenship at email.com, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. The email then, is up to you. Then, to, I, then I got the subject, right? Yeah. So, phones in general means it can be any screen. So, in fact, by changing er to the, it's actually wrong. Oh. Mm. Actually, uh, I believe I'm a bright student uh, because I came from the express stream. But unfortunately, I tend to do mistakes in my life and get myself straight away from the school, right? To commit crimes. Uh. If I'd given uh, the second chance, I'd be at the gallows or maybe I'd be hanged already. I'd be dead by now. Nice. So, if I'm having this opportunity, right, I will. You sit wisely. You intend to do our part time diploma course, right? Uh, time to do diploma in logistics. Once you complete that, there's even further studies. Yeah, further studies. The Bachelor of Science in Logistics and Supply Chain Management. You can even do it while you're in prison school. You don't have to wait till you're outside. For this time around, I don't want to waste time in prison. I choose study. Uh, because in future, with a certificate, it helps me to get a better job. Uh. Once you do not have a job, you will tend to do the illegal things, you know. Because you need money. You know. Because when you are out for prison, when you open your eyes, you need to think things about money. How to live, how to get money, how to survive, what to eat. I really need this uh, to change to have a good start later on my life. Uh. Can 
क्या स्टैंड बाय Guys, proceed to the yard. Okay, guys. Ah, uh, before you start for the yard, remember to put on your mask properly and ensure safe distancing. Okay, I see. Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon, guys. Carry on. Most of us are looking forward for the yard time, because only we have twice a week for the yard. This is different from the maximum institution, because in maximum security, I will go for yard every Monday to Saturday for two hours. After stressful day in class, memorizing the formula, doing all the revisions, the one hour and one fifteen minutes is so precious for us. For us, as a student, uh, yeah, it's very important. Uh. I came to prison school on the 3rd January 2020. And that's the first time I've been to the open yard. Uh. The first thing I see is the open sky. Uh. Because the maximum institution, all this while I've been seeing a ceiling. Uh. I never seen an open sky for such a long time. Ah. Then I see there's an aeroplane. I see there's a bird, right? So, well, this is what I've been missing for such a long time ah, in the prison. Ah. I really, really miss all these things. Ah. It's raining, raining. I like cold weather, I like rain. I enjoy raining days, even when I'm outside. I miss the sun, miss the rain, miss getting outside. The view very important uh, for us. It's like the only way that we can feel outside. There's a black maria, they call it. Uh, the one that comes in and out through the front gate. There's the one that from here to court and God come back here. So every time when I saw that bus, I just don't want to see it again because it can remind me that that's the starting of the whole entire thing. Rizdi, were there difficulties that you encounter when you were out, before you come in here? The influence of getting money, cars, mm. uh, credit card and all this stuff. Yeah. I use eyes for things that I do in, in life. I just move on like three days without sleeping, four days without sleeping, five days without sleeping. Because you keep on uh, gathering more and more issues. You, you know, if you stop, you're going to lose like 2,000. So why must you stop? How does that sit with you, knowing that if I were to achieve, if I were to succeed in something, but without drug, and I would take probably at a slower rate, how does that sit with you? Boring. What are your plans um, in terms of drugs when you're released in the future? I plan like after I get my new passport, then I move. <laughs> so, uh, you cannot play drugs in Singapore. But it is certainly quite worrying if he's articulating those thoughts. But in the end, uh, once they're released, we, we don't know what are the different uh, things that might happen outside. He does have a very good family support and his uh, ability to connect with them, his willingness to connect with them. So these are some of the things that might actually help Bruce D keep to his change path. For Rose D, 
you know, giving advice to other inmates on exercises. It could be seen as a gang-related activity. I do see him a bit uh, in the open yard, you know, giving advice to other inmates on how to do a particular set of, you know, exercises. Uh, I mean, based on on his expertise. In a way, we would encourage because it it builds rapport amongst the the inmate. But at the same time, it could be seen as uh, you know a gang-related activity. So it's a bit in the middle of the fence uh, for that one. You will ask me question and question for tips so that I can guide them. We have a kind of grouping together that eventually do HIIT here and it's very, very high intensity rather than the normal one outside because down here, we can really focus uh, fully on our activities. Of course, the people are fitter here, of course, yeah, definitely. The majority of our offenders are actually drug offenders. So they come in with a certain lifestyle and they're scrawny, skinny, you know. Yeah. Once they go out, they're fit. Because the food they eat, the time they spend exercising, that's the irony, right? Rizdi? Okay, come get ready for your televisit. Okay, where is he? So who's going to visit you? Uh, my girlfriend, sometimes my mother. Okay, uh, how often do you come and visit you? Every month? Okay, Twice a month. Twice a month. Okay. I'm Rusdi's uh, very close friend. Technically, I would say, yes, I am his girlfriend. But because the relationship is so complicated, it's very hard to actually say it out in public. I also have interest to actually go back to fitness. I don't think you should go back to that. Mm, my fitness mentor was the one that introduced me to math. He used it for bodybuilding as a form of water redu uh, reduction. Uh, as a form when it get, the muscles get very lean. Ten years ago, he took drugs. That was the beginning of their life uh, upside down. The first time Rusty took drug when she came home to get the mara, dia nak lemparkan kipas angin tu kat cik. Without drugs, he's really just like a normal person, a good one. Tak adalah ah ni kali ni mak kasi ah udi apa udi kebebasan lah untuk udi dah besar apa dah tiga puluh lebih apa dia boleh fikir jadi mak tak nak uh, macam dulu. Yalah mak kasi kebebasan sekarang masalah ialah je negeri yang Udi duduk tu tak kasi. <laughs> Jaga diri sendiri. Dia tak macam mak lain. <laughs> Jaga diri sendiri eh. Uh, mesti nak percaya diri sendiri. Ah. Uh, oh, orang pun boleh percaya. Ah uh, itu tau important. He has to build that trust together with us because we can't trust him fully. 
I like him in prison because all can control him lah. He never take drug and, and he behave because if outside ah nobody to jaga him, you know. Okay, how can I help you today? What happened? Um, uh, yesterday I played a uh, takro and then uh, I had slight injury on my hamstring, left hamstring. Left hamstring? Okay. So we've got quite a lot of people who used to be dependent on uh, substances. So they will come here and you know they will seek to find medications which can be addictive like um, some painkillers and sometimes they will not tell you what they're looking, they will phrase it in a different way and you just have to suspect and clarify them. Can I just confirm, do you fall down or you just stretch your muscles? Stretch my muscles. Uh, stretch your muscles. Uh, okay. uh, no, nobody hit you or anything so far. Uh. Okay. What's challenging would be to sift through those undertones. You might think twice before you give them what they ask for. We have to be aware, I mean, so that we don't, you know, accidentally propagate the behavior. Yeah, I just lift up your okay, So around here lah. Okay, any injury to your knees? The hips? Hip, yes. Ah, hips also can. Ah. You can walk lah today. Still can walk. I had a look. He probably just strained his hamstring, so I gave him some painkillers and advised him to walk around more if he can lah. If you're not well, just come back and see us again. Okay, okay, okay. okay take care. Have a good day. Good morning, everybody. Um, so today we are going to start our schema elective module. So generally in their childhood and if hitting someone else was rewarding in the past, that increases the chance of using violence in the future. Tell us your name. Share one of your happy childhood memories. Whoever wants to share, they just start. Yeah, my name is Grayson. Uh, my one childhood memory is when the time we'll be able with my siblings and my father and mother together. That period of time, I can remember one part that we were quite happy together. Okay, my name is Buna. So my one of my happy childhood memory is when I started to play drugs. <laughs> I can't seem to think of anything. I blocked out my childhood. <laughs> So sometimes growing up is good, sometimes growing up not so good. And sometimes some people go away growing up having certain fears, anxieties, thoughts to protect themselves. Anger? Why anger? I was three years old that I can remember because my mom was pregnant about, for my sister. And my late father working as a part-time part and job hops. I think my mom trying to ask my father, then where's the meal coming from? La. My late father beating my mom up, the mob would snap kena my late father and I'm bleeding. When they share stories about themselves, about their childhood, we're reaching out at the core belief to unpeel each layer and to address what is really an issue that's driving the violence. We will then teach them how to challenge or accept these thoughts, so that they will come up with a more balanced perception. I'll, I'll give you all some colour paper, okay? I got four colours. Yellow, green, red and blue, okay? When you put it over your, your eyes, what do you see? What colour is this? Red, pink, pink. White. 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 Red. <laughs> you pull down, what, what colour is it? Green. green. The cut I hold is still green. Yes. But the colour that you put on makes it look like a different colour. When we talk about schema, it's like that. It's something like that. When we go through certain experiences, it colours a bit. Go through even more experiences, it colours a bit. And after a while, that becomes a permanent colour. 
So for example, if I am growing up and I'm telling myself I need to stay safe, I better hide from view so that I don't get beaten up. But if every problem that they face, they, oh yeah, okay, I, I better hide. Then it becomes a problem already, right? For Kai especially, there are repeated times that um, he used violence to get what he needs. And if it works, it would further strengthen that belief that violence works. So violence will solve my problems. After a while, it became like a, a, a response, an automatic response. Back then, my dad suffered with stage 4 cancer. We have my dad appointment. Lah. We're supposed to meet up lah. with my ex-girlfriend. She doesn't turn up. That's where it led me to frustration, anger. She replied after a few days. She said that she's going to explain to me everything. She says that she was on the way. That time was around 5.30. And I just keep on waiting at the MRT station. Uh, she turns up at 9.30. She did not explain me at all. And that is too much already. Eh? So that's where I think I burst out. I grabbed her wrist. Why you say you were on the way, you came in like a fool? You know my responsibility is big. What if anything happened to my dad? Are you going to be responsible? And I feel good uh, that I grabbed her. Because to show the pain, the struggle that I've gone through, after time flies, I understand myself. It's not worth. Uh. There's, there's something new that I learned uh, in myself. It's just a minor thing, that a small thing that I need in myself. It's a, a hook. It's not stick already. The double step just drop. I look for the officer for help. Out. Then the next day, he just treat that nothing happened. Very peace off, very, very peace off. Don't take things too personal, OK? So one time, two time, I OK. Lah. I read by the third, fourth. He never do for me. It's really very hard lah, to control this temper. I really wanted to hit him or what, all this. Prison, a lot of things we have to put up requests. Us, like for pencil, we need to put requests. Double shaver for those really very uh, grow very fast, they also need to request. Actually, I need one more hook here. Sometimes the hook also not strong, then they drop. Then I need another one for my tower. But I'm still waiting for them to get back to me. Then we keep asking, hey, sir, have you done the request for me? Some of the project, I'm sorry, I forget. They never help you put out, so at the end of the day, there's still no one put, then you have to find other officer. In the cell, we will keep thinking, like, when will you approve? I'm anxious, like, like trouble. Then I got some problem. I find that going to Starbucks got grudges with me. Whatever I asked him to do, he like never do for me. I scared later one day I explode, then not nice to him or so. Don't take things too personal. At first, one time, two time, I okay. Mm. By the third, fourth, he never do for me. Why didn't you approach him, ask him what happened? For now, make me, I see him also, I feel very hot, I'm very stressed. I feel I want to go and straight approach him. If Grayson uh, show defiance, uh, disrespectful against officer, a report will be submitted and he will be punished. We will seriously take action. His release will be delayed. It can be at another two more days. In this temper, it's really very hard uh, to control. So I know myself when his answer to me is like too unreasonable, I might get angry. So but I don't want to talk to him and get myself in trouble. I understand you're angry, you are so upset and everything. But I try to think the consequences. Lah. We can't expect everything ah, to be happen ah, according to what we want. Don't let your emotion take charge of you. So far, you manage it well, so continue that. So any issue, anything, you just come and look for me. So if you recall, 
we made you do a survey, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the survey was meant to help us find out what are your schemas. The schema that you scored quite highly was emotional deprivation. It's the expectation that your desire for some emotional support will not be met by others. Going back to as far back as you can remember, when do you recall having these feelings? When I was three. Uh, you just have to listen to my voice and just bring yourself back to the time around three or four years old. Close your eyes. If you don't feel so comfortable, you can look down. Can you describe what is the scene that you're looking at? In front of me, sideways. What was happening around you? The sky. We walk a lot mm. from places to places. What were some of the things that you were thinking to yourself at that age? Where am I going? Yeah, why people got house why we keep on moving? We never stay at that one particular place for a long time. Always two, three days, then move around. We was homeless. How does young Kai look like? I did not smell. It's confused. Huh? We only eat uh, one meal per day and I always get hungry when I was a kid. But what is going through your mind? Nobody was there, nobody gonna listen to you. Mostly you just pull yourself alone. His experience as that young child in that moment, his parents couldn't take care of him. They were unavailable for him, although they were physically there. He was alone. What we can do is we can address it. When he encounters uh, a trigger or a difficult situation, he doesn't have to function like what he he had functioned as a three-year-old. If you were to go up to young Kai right now, what would you want to say to him? You're going to be OK. Just uh, stay strong. Don't lose hope. Why? My few close friends who always encourage me when they see something bad going to be happen to me. As an adult right now, hearing himself say it, you're going to be OK. You don't lose hope. That's where the powerful part of the exercise is. I'm this adult right now who's capable of doing things differently. We're not just looking into to dig and open an old wound, but how we can help it heal, make it part of his strength to go forward. So after uh, I applied through this FRC, which is a family resource centre, to get a uh, rent accommodation. I am still haven't get their call. I'm still waiting and uh, kind of very worried. So I actually seek Sergeant Mutan for advice. Uh. Regarding your referral for the accommodation, okay. Lah. Okay, I got reply this week or next week, they will arrange the interview. Lah. Okay. So, in, in case if, let's say, fail, uh, how? Uh? Now, I let them uh, work first, okay. the first step, okay. to find out because they need to know the eligibility. Do you feel really stressed about this accommodation? Uh, yes, very, very stressed, actually. Yes. Uh, accommodation is just one issue. No need to be worried, okay, on the day when you release, you won't be uh, homeless. I want you to help think uh, about the job, okay, what you're going to do. You've got seven, eight months for you to really prepare. But the real world outside is more challenging. I imprisonment for three years plus, so I feel a bit like left out from the world. Lah. So now the world also changed already. I'm actually a bit worried that I cannot adapt to outside. Okay, this one for 15 minutes. Put on the loudspeaker. Lah. You don't touch the phone. We try call a few times, couldn't get. His face turned great. Maybe the phone got no battery. 
Bravo can grant 5002. Okay, Rusdi, you can pack your item. Now we are transferring you, so you will be attending pre release program. Now uh, I'm at cell 549. I'm gonna be here until the release date, and that is like one month plus away.